Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, isn't it good? We're going live tonight. So for any of you guys who were joining us last night, I'm really sorry, but my sidekick is not here. Kim, where are you? <laughs> she couldn't stay another night, so she's at home watching. So hi, Kim. So uh, me and her were going to work together last night. And uh, we had lots of things planned, lots of things to do together, some her ideas, some my ideas. And I had to laugh because the email went out, it's all about Kim Firth. And I went, what am I doing then? But anyhow, so it's backfired because now I'm here on my own. But Kim has helped me with a few of these things tonight. So let's give credit to her. Uh, fabulous lady. I love having her in the kitchen. She's really very, very nice. And she's been over to stay with me for a couple of days because I asked her to show me a few things. And that's what we was going to show you tonight, okay? But then I have changed the script, which really frustrates Kim because I'm going, right, we're going to do this, Kim, we're going to do that. And now we don't know what we're going to do. So we are just going to go live with me on my own. And Laura and Maria are laughing their heads <laughs> off because I've not done a live on my own for a long time. <laughs> so while I'm talking about those, Laura and Maria are in the kitchen tonight. Hi, girls. Hi. <laughs> so um, we're going to attempt to make... Um, I, I keep getting this name wrong, okay? So I said to Kim last night, you know what, Kim? Uh, yesterday afternoon, you know what, Kim? Why don't we make one of those fortnight cakes? And she's looking at me, fortnight cake in an afternoon. I went, yeah, yeah, they're all on trend. What I actually meant was, and I still can't get it right, is it a fault line? Fault, fault line. line cake. So we're gonna try and achieve one of those tonight. Okay, so that's what I've got here. You might wonder why it's got a cake drum on it because we're doing the upside down method. So we've put the buttercream on. So this is real cake. Um, we put the buttercream on and what I wanted Kim to do was to show me how she crumbed coated a cake, nice and smooth. So I got it lovely and smooth and then she did it smoother and we're missing bits. We've got part of a naked cake here. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> So anyhow, but it doesn't matter because we're going to use it as a fault line cake. So I've still left it in its upside down position. You'll learn a little bit more about that. Um, I've got some fancy boards. I want to show you that I've been decorating another little idea. Just while we're having tea, I went, hey Kim, you know what? Why don't we make one of these boards? So we were doing that. And then I'm going to show you how we achieve this. And um, we're going to use some chocolate drip. So hopefully that's going to keep you entertained for a while. So I'm going to get Laura to do a few shout outs now, let us know how many people are watching because I think I've been gapping on long enough and do her usual spiel. <laughs> um, so hi everyone, um, thanks for joining us again. Yeah, we like Carol said, we were having all sorts of problems last night and you were all aware, so thanks for trying. We did try our very best, but it was an absolute nightmare. So um, we're well over 130 views at the moment, we're still going up. Um, some familiar names, of course, um, people who always join us. So we've got Julie Crompton, we've got Sheila Heron, I think Rob Allen's popped up as well. Um, we've got a couple of people saying um, they've got the drips and they're desperate to use them. I think everyone's a little bit too scared at the moment. So, so am um, I. <laughs> and I've got to use them tonight. All eight colours I'm using and maybe wow. another one. <laughs> so yeah, I think everyone, and, and a few people saying about the fault line cake as well, they're really looking forward to that. So never made one before. Here we go. You know what we are? We're brave in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. And it's not winging it. It's about being brave and just going for it. It's only cake. Um, no, it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's only cake and we'll still eat it anyway. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining us. And if you do miss any of the Facebook live this evening or you can't stay with us for the whole session, as always, it will be pinned to the Facebook page when we're finished and it will also get transferred over to YouTube. Um, you'll see Maria hanging around um, over Carol Scholes this evening, and Maria makes these fantastic one minute videos as well. So all the really important bits squished into a minute video, it also goes over to YouTube as well, and then you see it get promoted throughout the weeks and the months um, showing you the products. Um, talking about products, anything that you um, see in the Facebook Live this evening is available on the Sugar and Crumbs website. So head over to the sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, um, there is a Facebook Live wish list which is right over on the right hand side or you can just use the search bar at the top of the page. Well done Laura, okay. that was good isn't it? Yes. Could you have not took longer because I've now got to make this fault line cake. <laughs> Come <laughs> just keep going for another 20 minutes or so Carol. <laughs> so you know what, Laura said we, we don't wing it here, you know what, it's only cake and that's all it's about, yeah. you know, let's not get stressed about it. So what I'm going to achieve tonight is either going to look amazing or okay. 
So we don't know, do we? We're going to go with it. So I've never made one before. I watched a five minute video where I was having tea with Kim last night of somebody making one. So what we're going to do is we've got our cake upside down and all I'm going to do is get my centre done. So I'm just going to find out where Maria wants to be. Where do you want to be? Because I'm going to be okay. here. Oh, and Kim's actually watching and she says, oh. good luck, Carol. Sorry, I can't be there. <laughs> no, it's a bless her. So we're just going to put some buttercream on. So I think, Laura, you let me know if we've got everything in camera. We have, yeah. So we've had three Facebook Lives this week. We had Maria Ditchin on Monday, which she was a great lady, great fun. And then because I had Kim over here, I threw Kim in the deep end and said, come on, Kim, let's do a live on Monday with the Marvellous Mould. Of course, we had John on camera, enthusiastic as ever. You know how he is. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the problem with John is he, you know, it's like all men. They like sport and football. And was it the women's football that was yes, on on was. Tuesday? He was more interested in the results. So thank you for those of you who kept him up to speed with that. <laughs> so um, he was more interested in that. And then he gets distracted. And at one point, Maria had to pull him because he went waltzing off down the kitchen. <laughs> He just completely forgets that he's filming, you know, so anyhow, so he's not here tonight. Uh, Laura and Maria feel as though that they live here. They've been here every day this week. So they were here last night. God bless them. You know, they've been at work all day and then they still come along at the night time. And we did try several times last night to get started, but we couldn't. So we did have a little play in the kitchen afterwards and I'm going to show you what we played with. So I'm just going to check. So you'll see that I'm only putting the buttercream just in the middle. So I am using buttercream. Yeah. So I think that's a an even enough line, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So we're just going to do that now. Then I'm just going to pop this over here. Now you saw at weekend that I um, did a did a sprinkle cake for my granddaughter. So my granddaughter is free. She's had three birthday parties: one at nursery, one for the family, and one for all the mates. And last minute, I just thought, you know what, I'll just do a cake with sprinkles on. And it looked great, the cake. Probably didn't look great on the photos when I looked. And then the other, the other thing then is, is I went and put it on some daft big board that was going to finish off decorating. But I got too busy chatting to Natalie Porter, so you know, it just had to go as it was. But I will say, we took it, chopped it up, and then I brought what was left back to the class, and the class thoroughly enjoyed it. So it's the same cake that I've got here. So all I did was, I've just got all my packets of sprinkles. Do you ever go to the cupboard? and you've got loads and loads of sprinkles. Bits of this, bits of that. Well, the sprinkles that I use are the quality sprinkles. Okay, so I use these. Okay, they're quality sprinkles. And what these are, they're suitable for every diet. So these are suitable for people with nut allergies, uh, vegans, uh, vegans, vegetarians, uh, any diet, you can have these. And that's why they're called 100% natural ingredients, free from. So they're free from everything on there. So no animal products in them whatsoever. So I love these. I've been using these for years, probably in the whole time that we've been on sugar and crumbs, but I don't actually shout out about them. And funny enough, a guy came in the warehouse the other day and actually said to Laura, he had no idea we sold them, but we were giving them away free a couple of months ago. And um, he had no idea and he's highly delighted because he runs a vegan cafe. So he's well chuffed and no idea. So he comes in now regular. So I thought, you know what, what a perfect time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move them over there. And I'm going to get my cake. And I'm going to stick it in here because you need a big pan. So this pan is one that I've just got out of the oven. You know when you buy an oven, they always give you a nice big roasting pan. So we're just going to do that. Um, so all we're going to do is, is sprinkle around here. So don't know whether you can see that there. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to sprinkle onto the buttercream that I've already done. The thing is, if you're not careful, you will throw it all over your worktop. But I'm going to try and be a bit careful. So let me turn that round. So hopefully it's leaving the gap still yeah. and only attaching itself to where I put fresh buttercream. So we crumb coated this cake yesterday, Kim and I, and then we've had it in the fridge overnight. It was only meant to be in there till last night, so we come and showed you what we were doing. Have I missed a bit? Yeah. Good. Keep me in, because I'm trying to <laughs> look at this camera Working here. Working sideways and upside down and everything <laughs> like that. <laughs> Am I on? Yes. yes. Right, okay, so. 
This is what oh, we yeah. put our tutors through when they come and do a live. <laughs> Upside down, back to front. <laughs> it is really funny because, you know, and the tutors have a bit of a, a habit of pulling everything to them up here. And that's what was driving me mad with John the other day because Kim was trying to show something, but she's pulled it all over to her here. And John's got the camera on the green board with the cake in the farthest corner. So anyhow, there we go. So Laura does a great job. That's why she got the job. I try. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to push a few more of those in there. So if there's any comments, Laura, read them out. Yeah, there's just people commenting on the sprinkles, actually just saying that they got them, obviously, when we were running the promotion. So um, for anyone who's not aware or who hasn't actually purchased from us yet, <gasps> shock horror, <laughs> just in case you've not purchased from us, We've been running um, a few offers, so basically um, a couple of months ago, like Carol said, we ran an offer where every order over the um, value of £20 received a free bag of sprinkles, so it was a random bag, colour, shapes and sizes, um, but it was for free from range. Last month and also into July, we're running the same offer, so again, any order that qualifies over £20 value. Um, now receives a random bag of flavoured ice and sugar. Yes, but this month, okay, because we try to do something every month. And how long have we been doing this now? Is it for the last six so, months we've been doing yeah, this? Yeah, we've Christmas, done think, glitters, we've done sprinkles, yes. ice and sugars. Yeah, yeah, because we have. We've done glitters, we've done sugars. Yeah. Um, I think we did winter sugars and then we did um, sprinkles and then we've done Prosecco. So yes. last month it was Prosecco. And then this month it's one of the new flavours. So, one of <laughs> one of the new flavours goes in. So don't, you can't choose, but it will be one of the new flavours. Now, while we're talking on that subject, we are very busy in the warehouse, and every now and again, one of our lads does forget to put it in your order. But don't worry, just message us. Just phone the office, we'll sort it out. And what we'll do is we'll put it in your next order for you. We don't send it out separately, but it's very rare. So the volume of orders that we send out it's it's not often that we do miss no, one no. so um but it is human error it's not deliberate it's not because we don't like you <laughs> no, or anything like not that or we fell out with you <laughs> you know it's just one of those things that you know the problem is when they're packing the orders they tick it off that they put it in then they get distracted with something and then um they, they haven't actually put it in but believe me they are just as disappointed as you are when I've just got to be careful I don't drop this I do want a dusting brush, which I realised I didn't bring one. Uh, hang on. Sorry. So. Doesn't matter how hard you try, you will still get sprinkles all over the floor. Don't worry. sprinkles do look beautiful together mm -hmm. and all they are is a mix of all the sprinkles that I've got so that you know there's everything that I've got and sell they're just thrown in here so it doesn't matter if you go down on this on this at all and they're nice and soft these they've got no silver ones in that are rock hard to back you know to hurt your teeth or anything they're nice and uh, soft and sprinkles have a date a best before date on as well so when you've got a best before date on it's sugar it doesn't go out of date it just gives you a best before date which tells you it's a premium flavoring flavored um so don't ever worry if they're near your best before date or anything like that still use them right okay so I think you can see we've got our fault line there. Do you see that? I can now. Yeah. And you'll see, if you saw this kitchen, you would see it's still covered with <laughs> sprinkles. So let me just get myself a damp off a minute. Yeah, someone's put, you find the sprinkles for weeks, you really do. They manage to get everywhere. That's <laughs> <laughs> true, that. Yeah, there's quite a few people saying, obviously, how much they enjoy having the freebies. And I know a lot of people have put on the community page that they wouldn't naturally, never think of ordering like the Turkish Delight or the Prosecco, for example. Oh, God, they did go mad for the I know, and because they've had it as a freebie, obviously, they've tried it, and it's totally blown mm. the mind. So let me tell you, if you do get Prosecco, there's no alcohol in it. There's no alcohol in any of our alcoholic flavours. It's a twist on the flavour. So, you know, you do get the odd person who say, well, it doesn't taste like gin and tonic. 
Well, it's a twist on the flavour. It's a lime element and a little bit of a zanginess, a zinginess yeah. or whatever the right word is. But it's a twist on the flavour because we don't want to put alcohol in. The Prosecco one, okay, is amazing as a cheesecake. Seriously, make a cheesecake. We have the easiest recipe going and it is delicious. Put some raspberries on it. The other thing is, one or two ladies said they didn't like Prosecco. Well, you know what? If you've got a bag of Raspberry Ripple, do half a bag of Raspberry Ripple, half a bag of Prosecco. It's amazing. Yeah. Same with coconut. If you've got half a bag of coconut, throw in half a bag of Raspberry Ripple. Put flavours together. Try them. So if you have got half bags or bits of bags, do what I've just done with the sprinkles. Put them in. Make your own flavour. Seriously, they are really very nice. Mm. So anyhow, so you can see we've got our fault line here, can't you? Yeah? You see that? So what we're going yeah. to do now is we are going to... And I pray to the Lord that this works. So you'll see that I'm wobbling it. Okay, I'm going to go around I'm just again. going to drop this up on the bottom just because we're quite tall. So bear with me for the wobble just for a minute. But we're quite a tall cake tonight. So I yeah. want to get the actual angle. That's better. Okay, now I'm just going to fill up my bag with some more uh, buttercream. You'll see that my buttercream is quite soft. Let me put in some more in this bag. Um, the, back, the nozzles I'm using to put this on, you can actually put it on with a palette knife if you want to. But you'll need to see that this needs to be deeper, this buttercream. So it's got to be, it's got to have the ledge. Yeah. yeah, so that's why we've got to put it on this way so we get the ledge. Because some of you thought that you had to cut into the cake. So some of you are buttercream cakes thinking that you've got to cut into the cake and then stick the sprinkles in where you haven't. You just do it this way. Well, this is my way anyhow. <laughs> I'm hoping it's this way. So I thought I'm not chopping up any cake. I ate enough cakes on Monday night. Can't be having any off cuts here. So <laughs> this is where we are. So anybody who's watching the live tonight, if you haven't watched before, you'll notice that I have got false nails on and I have got my hair down, that's the way I am. And um, you're not eating my cake, so don't worry about it, okay? Everything in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen is actually consumed by Maria, Laura and myself. The warehouse lads absolutely love it when they get it. My doggy Walker, her and his mum and dad love it too. Um, we are having a demonstration morning on Saturday. So I'm actually taking the cakes to the demonstration morning. I'm actually not giving them to Maria and Laura, the warehouse lads. Well, Maria and Laura will get some on Saturday. Of course they will. But I am taking them to the demonstration morning on Saturday. And for those people who are coming to the demonstration morning, if you feel you want to put your life at risk and taste a piece, <laughs> feel free. We're making you a tea and a coffee as well, so be extra careful. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we're just going to go along here. So, always makes me laugh when people come on with that comment. Oh, she's got her hair down, she's got nails on. Well, you know, I find it quite insulting because I'm actually quite a clean person. <laughs> I actually had a shower today, wash my hands several times, wash your hands before I come live. And, um, you know, it's a bit so ridiculous. <laughs> so, uh, Judith Scott says, I would eat your cake any time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you know what? So many of you are so good. You always say that, Carol, I love it. <laughs> and uh, so here we are. Can you see what we're doing yes, now? Yes, perfect angle. Yeah. Yeah. Have you any idea what size cake board you're on in comparison 12. to your cake? So what size would your cake be? Eight. Okay. So is it not an eight-inch cake? I might be on a ten-inch. Wait a minute. What river is? Might be on a ten-inch. Sorry, I think I am so on right. a ten-inch. I think it's just so people can get um, a judgment, basically, of how thick everything is. Yeah. So it's an eight-inch cake. So the cake is actually six inches deep, it's eight inches wide, and this is a 10 inch board. Okay, yeah. there we go. Okay, so this is the exciting bit. Right, okay, this is where I get a bit scared. Let me get my smoother. So where is my pink smoother? I thought I had everything here today. So let's get my smoother, okay. And I've just got to run around this gently. So I now have to take that's the bottom of the cake, isn't it? Yes. Right. Smaller, smoother. Right. 
So Sue Simpson says, they all look delicious. Hope I can try a slice of each of the cakes on Saturday. <laughs> yes, well, everybody who's coming on Saturday, all these cakes are this one, this one, this one, and the one that I'm going to do in a minute is going to be there. So feel free to have a slice of everything. Can we talk to you about this cake in a minute? We're, we're going to fight you for them, Sue. Me and Maria will be there first. The story for this cake is quite funny. So, so here we go. So we're just going to... Do you think I've winged it? Do you think I've done it? Do you think I've done it? Oh right. So beautiful. Right, so we're going to put this in the fridge. I'm going to start. What do you think? Beautiful. So we're going to put this in the fridge. I'm going to start on cake number two. So let me get this in the fridge first. What do we all hey. think? What do you think, Kimmy babe? <laughs> <laughs> El Ellen Mia says no breathing for this part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happens, Ellen. <laughs> when, it, when we do a tricky bit or something that's not that's new, we all kind of go <gasps> and just wait. Everybody stops talking. Everybody holds their breath. <laughs> exactly. exactly, exactly. Wow. Well, Carol, there you go. That looks fantastic. Well done, Carol. Clever girl. Oh my God, how easy was that? Brilliant, Carol. Looks no fabulous. No like the cake. <laughs> there you go. Don't know whether we've got it wrong, got it right. And Kim will vouch for you. We're at the vouch. We only decided this yesterday. And as I say, I keep getting the name wrong. Even tonight when Laura came in, I said, right, we've got to do, look, we've got to do this to do. Kim's not here. We're going to have to do this. I've got that fortnight cake to do. And she's going, <laughs> fault line. Fault line. Oh, is it fault, fault. line? <laughs> fault line. <laughs> <It's laughs> <It's laughs> <It's laughs> <right there. laughs> So we can go there. Right, okay. So, cake number two, because I've got three cakes to show you. Right, so cake number two. So I've just put that in the fridge because we're going to come back to that afterwards, okay? So this one here is cake number two. Now, the reason I'm not going to show you all this, okay, is because I haven't got time to show you everything tonight. But one of the reasons I had Kim here was to show me how to cover a tall cake because I can cover a cake but I haven't covered a cake in a long time and I'm not a baker really you know what I like doing I just like mucking about and I actually enjoy the baking more than I do than the cake decorating and um, I'm sure if any of my tutors are watching because I go on lots of classes and I go on them for the social side and I'm sure lots of my tutors will tell me I'm quite distractive in the fact and is it distractive is that the right word Distra what is it when you're distracting distracting yeah <laughs> so because I'm a chatterbox I can't help myself and um, I get all the work done but I'm, at the end of the day I'm a, I'm a bothered about what the cake looks like no not really I just want to have a day out <laughs> so anyhow so I've got Kim here I've got Kim here and the sugar paste we've got on here is Select Island okay it's their baby pink so we put this on I have got a couple of mistakes with it and Kim was all ready for taking it off and I went no Kim we're going to fill in the gaps. So basically, we got some pink sugar paste, put it on the board here, added a bit of water, made it into a paste, and I filled in a couple of cracks, because you can see I'm not very neat. Can you see this? Only a little bit, yeah. So I'm not very neat. I think Kim was mortified. So I said, and then we're going to cover the rest up with sprinkles. And what I've done here is I've done exactly the same as what I've done with the fault line cake. I put that in the pan. I know, I'm amazing <laughs> myself. It's you not going to go it. on. <laughs> I put it in the pan that we just had. I just brushed it around with water and then I put the these on, okay? So we're going to do a board for this now. So let me show you my board. So we'll just move that out of the way. And we're going to do a board for this and then we're going to do some drip. So let's get that out of the way. And I'll get you to bring that pan back in a minute. What have I done with my board? There it is. So my board... I'm going to get some gel. Oh, we need to roll out some sugar paste. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? So let's. Uh, so I posted the link up um, in the comments for the quality sprinkles. And um, in case you did, you missed it. You can either shop by brand on the website. Just look for quality sprinkles, or again in the search bar at the top. As soon as you start typing the words quality sprinkles, loads of different options will come down. 
And um, it's the same with anything that you're searching by brand or if it's a particular colour or anything like that. And um, the select time I'm going to pop a link up as well for just so everyone can find it easy enough. But again, if you do shop by brand, the options will come up on the website for you. Yeah. So the thing that I'm going to show you about here now, so the sugar paste here I'm going to pop on the board. And yes, it's great to use the, the sprinkles and stuff. And if you're going to use it on a buttercream cake, you, you know, and you're not making your buttercream with butter because you want it for vegan. So you're going to use pure or you're going to use um, stalk block or you're going to use margarine, whichever it is you're going to use. But if you're going to use sugar paste, you need to have a sugar paste that's suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And the Select Island is suitable for that. Okay, so we're going to use the white here. So all I'm going to do is just roll this out. Now, if you're not, if you're not um, wanting something, because I think when I show you this board in a minute, all the kiddies are going to want to pick up the board and eat it. <laughs> so... Uh, and this idea came about, I will tell you why this idea came about. I've seen on Facebook that there's these boards that are out there that are, um, let's call them flower pouch. Just one second. I've seen um, these boards that are out there that are acrylic boards and you can recycle them and you just pop all your sweeties and stuff inside them. And then, you know, I think they're great, but they can be a bit of a faff as well because they come with no base to them. So you have to have a cake card for the base, sellotape it all in. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna think of an easy way. So this is my easy way. Now, if you're not dealing with vegans and vegetarians, you know, go and buy yourself a, a packet of cheap sugar paste from Tesco's or Aldi or something like that, because it's only for the board, this. But if you are dealing with people with diets, then, um, Use this select diamond one. And I've just got to hope and pray I've got enough for this board. In fact, I might, do you want to just root in that cupboard there, Laura? See, we've got a 10 inch board. So I think I've picked up a 12 inch one here. too good i'll use this well in right <laughs> so what we're going to do we're going to use some pme piping gel again i just need to get another brush so the large acrylic rolling pins are not yet back in stock no. No, the guy knows we desperately want them. The supplier I get them off is having a problem because of the, the way things are with Brexit and everything at the moment. The shipping cost to get them across is very high. So he's struggling and there's not a lot of profit in the rolling pins. So it makes them not affordable, really. So I've actually said to him, I'll do a bit of a deal with him to get them if he, if he wants. You know, I'll order half a batch as well and... You know carry half the cost so we are working on it together i am going to be chasing him tomorrow and uh we'll see what we can do right so all i've done is put pipe and gel on the board what's happened my camera just went a bit funny did it yeah what's going on it's, it's not my gel on there is it i think it might have been actually the silver and the liquid it's fine now yeah i think it might have been that yeah it was like strobing oh uh, was it yeah <laughs> it was really strange we're gonna get this on here. The sugar paste is Select Island, and what Carol's used to stick the sugar paste to it is piping gel by PME. And I haven't put it on far enough, so we're just gonna move it up. So Select Island is the sugar paste brand, and PME piping gel is what we're using to adhere the sugar paste to the board. Yeah. So we are just going to cut round. excited yeah <laughs> because we couldn't do the live last night uh, Laura and Maria had to sit and watch me and Kim do all these <laughs> so Maria was filming them so we're gonna have loads of little videos for you this week will they be this week Maria or next week, uh, next week. oh well it's next Thursday week. let's get a chance <laughs> yeah. and by the way we've got another live on Saturday so it's our demonstration morning on Saturday and we've decided we're not putting the projector up because it did become very confusing. 
Um, so we're not putting the projector up, but um, we're going to do a live. We're taking a brighter light, the one that we've got here. Um, I'm not bothered about it being too neat, really. Um, so we'll be doing a live on Saturday morning. So I think it's half past ten when we'll be going live. And it, yeah, if we can go a little bit earlier. So basically tune in between quarter past and half past ten. And we will always give you a five minute warning. So if you see us pop up, it's a five minute warning. And then we'll be doing the full Facebook live shortly after that. And if anybody wants to know what the demonstration mornings are, basically so many people ask and they come and shop in our warehouse. And it's not really a shop. So we thought we'd like to give something back as well. So what we've done is we've hired the kitchen across the road. Um, they, they've hired it to us. We've got all the staff in for the day. And then we've invited a guest. And our guest this week is Molly Robin. So the whole audience is men. There's no women. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think me and the girls might get a look in. So, <laughs> I am only kidding. So, <laughs> me and Maria are, aren't we single? <laughs> God, don't let's start this conversation. So, anyhow. So it's Molly, she's coming along and she's actually going to demo her um, Creature Creative Mold. Now she is only, only going to demo one because it's not a two hour live, it's a one hour live. So she's going to demo one. I don't actually know what she's going to do. But uh, Maria, do you want me to get that pan of sprinkles and give them a shake? So we've just gelled the board, as you can see. And Maria has got the sprinkles here. So we've got the sprinkles again. Okay, so again, I'm using up all these sprinkles, yeah. And then we are going to go into the board. Don't give it a shake for me. Sorry, as I okay. make a massive clattering noise with a rolling pin. Yep. <laughs> Just going to go into the board. Into the board. And are we covered? Wow. Yes. Are we covered? So we've just got a couple of ones that we need to push in there. Just something a bit different. So as I was saying, those acrylic drums that are out there and then you have to faff about getting all your sprinkles inside and taping it all up. I just thought, you know what, let's do something a bit different. And then, the, then this board is edible. Then the kids will love picking at this. I mean, so we're just going to. brilliant. I love the effect So let me know if you like it. Well, Laura, tell me if you like it in a minute. Um, so yes, Rolly, you do have to book for the demonstration mornings. Um, any remaining spaces are available to book on the website. So if you go over to the website, um, there's a classes section and everything including the social demonstration mornings are there for you to book on. There's none for Saturday then. No, Saturday is completely jam-packed. Yes. And I think there's only two spaces left for the September one. There isn't one in August. I think there's two spaces for left of the September. What we've done, we've booked 25 people in. Now, it was a shame really, because one lady had to cancel, one lady forgot, she was on the wrong day. She was actually on another course with one of our, our customers here who watches us. So, um, Doreen, she, so she booked herself on our class and booked herself on Doreen. So there she is at <laughs> Doreen's and we're ringing her going, where are you? So we were two down for Karen Davies last time, but um, anyhow. And talking of Karen Davies, Karen Davies has got a new mould to release tomorrow and we have it in the warehouse ready. So I will be putting it on the website tonight and um, that's a new mould. It's a, an autumn leaf mould, is it called? It's absolutely yeah, beautiful. It is beautiful. And uh, Karen is doing um, a live here on the 22nd of July here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen with Michael Lewis, I know, <laughs> Michael I Lewis know. Hamilton. He's come in as well. Don't think Karen knows. So, <laughs> so anybody who saw me in Germany in the afternoon, I got really fed up and naffed off. So I left Laura looking after the nifty nozzles and I went and sat on the um, Michael Lewis. Is Michael Anderson. Lewis? Anderson. Anderson or Hamilton, I can't remember. He's going to kill me for not remembering. I'm so Lewis terrible Hamilton with name. Where is, is it? I'm sure I put him in my phone as Lewis Hamilton. Anyhow, whatever he's called, he's a great guy. I've never laughed so much. He's absolutely hilarious. So there we go. That's our board. I hope you like it. It's gorgeous. Everybody's saying it's a fab idea. Pamela says the same as me. It looks like a giant jazzy. Yeah. Uh, we absolutely love it. Um, so a couple of people have just said, would you now just add the cake straight to the board? Would yes. you do anything to do it? it? Wait. We're on our way. We're doing it. Bear <laughs> with us. 
Ian, so, Ian Hotton said the kids would love doing that and that's a brilliant yes. idea. Yes. Let the kids get involved in that bit and you do the cake bit and then it's done, they've, they've had their hand in, they've had their fun, got sprinkles all over your kitchen for the next six months. Yeah, <laughs> glitter all over your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's just move that out of the way a moment. Maria, you have that. So let's show you what we was doing last night. So last night, we did these. So while you lot couldn't get through to us, we did these last night. We just thought we'd play with our idea. So all we did is I had a packet of um, pink, I had a packet of pink non pareils purple non pareils uh, white non pareils and these are all pearlized ours as well. So we just threw them in the pan. We started off with just pink and purple and we did the small board. Then we threw white in to see what the light white would look like. We threw the confetti ones in and then we threw the ones that I've just done now. So it's a different look, you know, yeah. slightly different. And then we threw the gold and, gold and silver strands in as well on a skate on a, on a cake board, square board. So what do you think? Do you like them? Loving them. No, Absolutely shall, loving them. Shall I show you the bling one? Yes. But this one's going to cost money, this one. This is relatively cheap, but the one I'm going to show you now is going to cost you money. But it has to be for that special occasion. So. We love this one. Do you like it? Full on bling. Let me zoom in and see if I can get the detail. Yeah. Do you like it? Yes. We love that one. But this one's going to cost you money because you know that anything that's got this metallic colour on is expensive. So basically I threw in the squares, the triangles, um, some pearls, um, some of the rods anything that I had that was silver. And this is what happens when Facebook Live goes down. My Facebook <laughs> closes down, we're here. Let's make these. So Maria was busy filming all these last night. So, and Kim did these for me last night. So well done to Kim. My idea, Kim, but she did them. So <laughs> we always have a laugh with Kim because we always have the ideas and God bless her. She's never done them before either. And we go, you know what, Kim, you can do that, can't you? So I hope you like them. Just something a bit different from the board and something that you can enjoy making and something, as Ian just said there, get the kids involved, let them do it and, um, and they'll enjoy it and they can eat the board as well afterwards. So let's get those out the so way. So I did say, um, obviously every, you know, every, de every design is different and every cake yes. that you're going to put on the board is different, but you could put the cake on the plain board and then sprinkle round, but you'd have to do it by yes. hand. It is a bit you more could. time consuming. Yeah. And it's probably a bit more messier, but yes, you could quite easily yeah. do that. We did think about that and we did have that conversation, but to be fair, it's really messy. Okay, yeah. it is really messy. It's hard to keep them. So let's just, sprinkles do go everywhere. Right, so let's get our board back. Let's get our cake back. So this is our cake. And then we're gonna pop this so I'm, I'm going to pop this in there. Let me get a big palette knife and on it. So someone did comment before and say, um, let me find the comment. Anyone wanting to order sprinkles for the next month will be out of luck. Carol's used up the entire stock of sugar and crumbs. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, Lynn, there's still plenty to go around. We've we tried to control her. <laughs> right, okay, just needed to shift that a little bit over there. Now, this is actually on a drum as well. So, there we go. So, we're just going to sit that on there. Do you see that? Just, that was, that was <laughs> done. Done. Hey? done. 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 <laughs> yeah, so you can mix and match. There's loads of ideas coming through. Um, mix and match the sprinkles. You could do one colour sprinkle on the board. Yeah. A coordinating colour sprinkle on the cake. Well, you know There's what? I'm sorts. looking for you to do them. And you know what? Let's, I'll tell you what we'll do tomorrow is we'll put a post up in the group, if you're a member of the group, and we'll call it Sprinkle Board. And then what we'll do is we'll keep it open for a month. Yeah? We'll keep it open for a month. Let's see all the designs. 
And if you're really good, I'll, put, I'll give 10 packets of sprinkles to the one that we pick. But we're only going to pick one, okay? Yeah. And I think I might let you lot pick. I think I might do the vote. Yeah, we can so do I think the vote. we might narrow it down. Yeah. And we do the vote, shall we? We'll do a poll. Can you do a poll on the you group? Can. I'm yeah. sure you can. So we'll do a poll. So any of you want to do it, and then that person who, who wins, we'll give them 10 packets of the quality sprinkles. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Brilliant. Okay, let's do that. So I'll do that tomorrow. Maria, make sure she's going to remember that. I've got to do that Maria tomorrow. is writing it in her notes as we speak. Is she? Right. She's on she? it. She's on it. Good. Right. Okay then. So let's move that down there. Kitchen roll I'm looking for. Can you see the kitchen roll? Just one second. Karen's watching. Hi, Karen. Karen said Maria will be picking at the board on Saturday. <laughs> right. Maria's sugar fix. Drip. So let's talk about the drip. We need to get that bought, that drum again, Laura. So these drips, chocolate drips, there's no chocolate in them, all right? So they're called chocolate drips because that's what people refer to them as, but there is actually no chocolate in them. They're actually really delicious. So I said to Kim, right, Kim, God bless her, and some of you might not know why I keep going on about Kim, she should have been here last night. So I said to Kim, you know what, I really need to show people the different colors of, the, of this. So what I'd like to do is we do a section on each one and my idea was to get one of Brina's angle smoothers hold it there and pull the drip down so Kim's going oh I don't know whether that worked that Carol I think we should score it so we tried it out on a dummy and her idea worked so we've got to hope that it's going to work okay. on too so what we're going to do is you put the drip cut the top off and you put the drip in the microwave for 30 seconds okay so we've got a lot of drips to do and all of them together or has no. to go all these one by one? One by one. We tried all together and it didn't work. Didn't work, yeah. no. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the tops off these. Now, these drips cover three six-inch cakes, okay? Um, I might be wrong. They could be eight-inch cakes, but I'm sure they're six-inch cakes. Did I get you, Laura? No. no so I've still got two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so they could be, they could be eight-inch, but I'm sure they're six-inch cakes, okay? So you do need to make sure you put them in your microwave, cut the little top off. They're pinged off with the uh, sprinkles somewhere. So let's not worry about that. So I'm going to pop this in. Once you give it 30 seconds in the microwave, and obviously the less you've got in it, the less you put 30 seconds on. But the good thing is, did you see what I was going to do then? I nearly shook it without the lid on. Very that would have been nearly. fun. Maria would have been aqua, aqua, nice. aquamarine colour. <laughs> <laughs> so um, once you've done your once you've done your thirty seconds, have a look at it, see if it's soft enough to drip, and we can do a little test one actually. So we'll do a little test one. So let me just get the side of a. I'm just going to make sure that it's, uh, are we still on this camera? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to squirt it on this lid a minute, just see if it's... Yeah, so I think that's going to be okay. So while that's in there, we put this one in the microwave for 30 seconds. Yes, Lynn, we do sell these. So they're all called chocolate drip. There's a whole range of colours. The colours are colors, beautiful absolutely beautiful and at the moment none of us can pick a favorite no we are absolutely torn they're right. so stunning can you see on that camera yep can you see that on the top i can right okay so we're going to start here now you have to have a bit of a steady hand and as you can see i haven't got quite a steady hand but we're going to You'll have to tell me if the drips are coming down right. They yes, are. They are. Definitely are. It's looking amazing. Stop there. Right. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So that's one. So let me get this one. It's so nice. Is it, I can't actually see. <laughs> well, just for your reference, they are long drips. Oh, are they? 
Just for your reference. So two are just stopped above the sprinkles and yeah. two are on the sprinkles. So, so it's a brilliant just, effect. I'm just going to put another one here then. Yeah, on the edge. Is that going down? Yeah, get down its way. It's on its way. Okay. So good to play. <laughs> uh, was this the one I warmed up next? Yes, I think it was. Yeah, that's perfect, that drink. <laughs> So what we're going to do is just give that one a bit of a chance to dry. Okay. Doesn't feel very hot, that one. Let me just do my little paint palette. Right, so that one needs a bit longer after putting it in. So let's just give that one a little bit longer. So we're just going to do 10 second blast now. Okay. Oh, Kim says looking good. Kim said looking good. Good girl, Kimmy. <laughs> good girl, we're on it. Wait till we get to the roses. <laughs> Got loads to show you. Hope you're enjoying tonight, anyhow. Yeah, yeah. There's over 400 people watching really? tonight. Really? <laughs> Ooh, little chubby McFarland in the kitchen. 400 people watching. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Be very dry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot about it. I was meant to, meant to have 10 seconds. It has someone's telling us we've got to shake it. Yeah. Yeah, we shake it thoroughly. We yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> you shake that one. Sorry, it's had another 30 seconds. I could be telling you it's only meant to have 10. <laughs> Not a bad word now, that is it? All the kids use it. Fine. Right. So I'm going to let that one cool down a minute. So is that one done? I think, think so. Do we think? Yes. Right, okay. So let's turn this one round. And we'll do this one here. You're all holding your breath. Yeah, everyone's concentrating so, so much. So have we got a drip coming it's down yet? One's already oh. starting. Right, Might need okay. a little bit to help Yeah, because I haven't squeezed it yet. No. There we go. The magic is happening. Okay. Yeah. So we'll give that one a bit more of an extra push. That's it. Ooh. Yeah. I love it. I'll give that one an extra push as well. They yeah. are such an effective product and they are yeah. so simple to use. Right, the yellow's still a bit warm. Oh, we didn't put another one in the microwave, did we? Right, so let's get this in the microwave. Yeah, they look all right then, don't they? They look beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just trying different ways of going around, but I don't right. think I will go around the edge like I did on that. Did you see I went all the way around? No. The so way that's a good way to us to watch that. That was deliberately me showing you that, you know. So, <laughs> so you know this one, I did the triangle, I came up and then I filled it all in and then pushed the drip. This one, I actually did the triangle all the way around and then added the drips on and I probably wouldn't do that. So just very quickly, there's a couple of questions. So they're £8.45 each, the drips. They're supposed to be £11.99. Um, there's another company that has them on for £8.75, but we've got them on at £8.45. Um, there's like a, Carol said, there's a whole range of colours, 18 in the set, in the whole collection. We don't sell them in any sets just because there's so many of them. They're too so expensive, really. Yeah, they? they're sold individually. It's a 250 gram pot. They're all vanilla flavour. Yep. Um, it's only the colour that is different, so they're not flavoured apart from vanilla. They are gluten free. So and even when you read the one salted caramel, it's the colour. It's the colour, yeah. Um, and the best before on the bottles that we've got is um, April 20. But we have had these ones for longer than the stock that we've got. So it may vary slightly in terms of, you may actually get a longer day on the ones that we've got in the warehouse. Yeah, these are mine. I bought yeah. these in Germany. That's a good point, that, Laura. 
Yeah, you know when, I, when we went to Germany, I bought these off the chat there and had to pay for them full price as well because <laughs> you didn't know whether I was going to be a stockist or not and I wanted to bring them home and get them home. So these are my personal ones, these. So um, uh, the batch that we've got in the warehouse is a new stock. I know that because we had to have them made for us. Yeah. So they've probably got sort of May onwards, May 20 onwards rather than April like these ones have. So let's see the drip. And it's right. Yeah. Yeah. They dry really quick as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you can make them a little bit more loose. See how mine are a bit bubbly? And I think I probably put a little bit too much on here, but who cares? But this who is the point that's alive. You're trying something beforehand to let everybody see how they work. Yeah. And that's what people love and appreciate about the Facebook Lives. Yes. Yes, you know what so many of you do appreciate that we give you these free experiences and they are free even when we have a tutor in it's completely free we don't pay them we do send them home with a goodie bag of stuff and everything but it is free and that's just a thank you from us and uh, you know we are nice enough to feed them as well <laughs> so um, but you know we love it when people come up and on Monday we've got Julie Rogerson coming up she's actually going to show you how to make a makeup bag so a little makeup bag with a blusher and a lipstick and something else what else would you have I don't wear makeup so what else would you have Blush up, lipstick, little mascara <laughs> thing, like, little mascara yeah. thing. So she's yeah. going to be making probably that. brushes. I would have thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a brush. Yes. So. Uh, okay, so Sharon, thank you very much. Sharon Norris says she's received hers this week, and her best before date is June 2020. Yeah, but they so, will be June. Yes, then. they will be June then. Yeah. And um, yes, they can be reheated if you don't use them all at once. Yeah. Um, so let them cool down completely before you pop the lid back on it. And you don't um, need and then, to store in the fridge. No, they're just stored at room temperature um, away from heat and light. So exactly the same as like your sugar, your flour and everything like that. Um, cool dark place, but not in the fridge. So there's approximately, um, where have I just seen this? Three six inch cakes. So yeah. each bottle will cover approximately three six inch cakes. I'm almost sure we could make them less wobbly than this, but I haven't done it before, so I'm not bothered. It's looking beautiful, Carol. Yeah. You're getting good drips already, just to let you know. Am I? Right, yeah. great. So do I need a drip there? Yep. Yeah. One there. Stop. One there. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well get a bit giddy, aren't we? It's only so. because you don't know how far they're going to go. No, so. <laughs> scrubbing it and the reason I'm doing it like this is just so you can see all the colours. So let's just put that in there. Yeah. Right, I feel as I'm dripped up. So we've got this. Still got the yellow one to do. We've done the navy, we've done the pink, we've done the peach, we've done the green. We'll do the pistachio. Um so the they do green. contain milk unfortunately so they're not dairy free. They do contain milk. Um, let's have a look, they are gluten free. Milk and soy, yeah. Yeah, Lindsay McIver said you could smooth the top with a, a warm palette knife, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but maybe we can't. We can't tonight, yeah. Well. Yeah, we're doing a lot of colours, but obviously, we're doing this, we're packing this into a Facebook Live. Um, and obviously, you know, we've said this before, you would do things slightly differently in your home kitchen. If you had a lot of time, um, we are, you know, we're not even an hour in and Carol's already done a fault line cake, sprinkle board, and we're nearly halfway through a drip cake as well. Now John goes mad at me and goes, Carol, you push so much into these lives, spread them out. But I just know you love watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we'll run through the colours that Carol's used once we're finished and um, I'll, I'll let you all know. I'm breaking and start going through. So, why I do the shaky shaky. Shaky shaky. <laughs> and, uh, no, not you your... shaky shaky, I need the names. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, we've got, so the pink, starting with the pink, is candy pink. 
So there's Maria's beautiful hand demonstrated. Yeah. So there's the candy pink. Next to it is the, not that one, Maria, that one. <laughs> Peach sorbet is the pale colour. Fabulous. And the next one, uh, we use the aquamarine, which is the colour that's just going away from the screen now. Yep. And the other one was Nautical Navy, which is next to the colour that Carol's using at the moment. It's not empty there, so I don't think it's soft enough. A bit of air in the bottle. Yeah, let's just give it another shake. Um, so no, the instructions do specifically say to microwave. Standing them in a bottle bowl of hot water is not going to smelt them enough. They are a solid when they are, you know, they're not warm. They are a complete solid. So you would definitely need to follow the instructions on the bottle. I can't see if we've got drips. We have yes. got drips. Right. Okay. Hold your horses. Well, yeah, that's sure not drips. quite warm enough, that one. We've got a few lumps. I've got a few lumps. Oh, we have got a few lumps. So that just shows when we haven't done them long enough. I've got a few lumps as well, so can match. We'll be all right. So what colour is that one, Carol? Pistachio. Pistachio. Okay. Um, okay, so how long does it last once it's opened? Let me have a look. I don't actually think it states that on the bottle. Um, it just says, store below 25C in dry conditions, protected from the sunlight. So the date is as long as the date on the bottle, as long as it's stored correctly. Looking all right, that isn't it? Beautiful. What do we think? Do you want to twist it round? Can look nice so we can see the colours. It's gorgeous. It is so so pretty. Um, yes, it does dry hard. Um, it's not rock hard, my Carol. Oh. <laughs> um, it doesn't dry rock hard, so it's not like a snap of chocolate. It's it's really pleasant to well, eat. Well, actually, it does. In fairness, because the one I took for Holly the other day, it did Oh, smell. had it really yeah. set. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah, it does. But it's not unpleasant, though, yeah. is it? It's really nice to yeah, eat. Yeah, no, it's lovely. So this one is Purple Passion. Passion. That's a better consistency, that one. Probably I shook it a bit longer as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not <laughs> farting. <laughs> when you go live can't hide anything nope and I know that's what half of you look like you watch to see what's going on That's it, that's it going down nice. the drips. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. Right, great. Maybe that's what you need, a farty one. It's just perfect <laughs> ones. <laughs> that one's purple passion. So all the colours are on the website that we've got. There's a whole range of colours. Um, someone did pop the link up before. Someone's specifically asking if there's a more orangey one. There isn't, unfortunately. No, there's not no. a bright orange as no. such, is there? Should I get you the others? Do you want to have a look at them? So we've got 
got mermaid blue. Got mermaid blue. Flamingo pink. Let's be our hand model. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass them over. Go. <laughs> go for it Maria, just don't touch the cake. <laughs> Stone grey, that is really on trend at the moment. Yeah. And that's been really popular. And it's been really popular, there's not many left Yes, actually. very, very popular. Midnight and black, that's the white. beautiful. Yeah, the black is gorgeous. The black is stunning, on a, even on a grey cake. Yeah. So luscious lilac, that's one I've got. I think I'm going to get that aquamarine as well because I love that. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Strawberries and cream. Evergreen. Grizzly brown. I love that name. Hey. Grizzly brown. Hello, funny, isn't it? I love that. And salted caramel. We're going to use the cherry red now. So this is the cherry red that Carol's going to go to use. I'm just going to poke that there. I used this the other day for my granddaughter's cake. Now this is a proper red. Yes, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Stop. There you go. That red's lovely, isn't yes. it? Yes. Right. Okay. And go for the yellow. This is cooled down now. This is the one I boiled today. Let <laughs> me get this one down. So it just shows that you can do designs on here, doesn't it? Look. Absolutely. So, well done, Kim, because I was actually going to do this with a. I don't know actually how I was going to do it actually. Just dried, you know, because we haven't been in the microwave because I made it too watery. No, I'm gonna have to put this in the microwave again. Just one second. Like that. Let me just have a little dig around. Pardon? Is it there? Yeah, because you don't put the lid in, so anything that was in the lid is yeah. going to set in while it's Yeah, you'll just think you've rinsed the lid out, obviously, yeah, as it, as yeah, it sets, that's it. that's it. Come out. Yeah, because I overboiled this in here, we've had to wait for it to cool down. If you remember, this is the second one on. So, uh, it's the one that I said the naughty word over. <laughs> I think from Michelle from work has used this one, hasn't yes. she? Yes, yeah. Michelle's got a few colours yeah. actually. The house of it's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's on its way. Yeah, great. Oh, there we are. Woohoo! Cake number two Absolutely. down. Absolutely. Is that cake number Stunning. two down? Stuff? Yeah. Number one done, isn't it? So let's get that on a pedestal then. Where's my turntable? So we can see it and I am going to finish it off as well. It's not going to end just there. Yeah, so do we like that? Love it. What do we think? Just a nice way, I just thought whatever way I can show you it's quite a lot of drips. So we've got eight colours there. I couldn't think, I couldn't really put any more on than that and all different lengths and stuff. So it's quite good, isn't it? Gorgeous. Yeah. Now I'm not, I'm not really good at doing drip cakes, but you know what, I'm quite happy with that. And I think any kid who gets that, or any adult would be quite I, happy. I was about that. to say, I'd be more yeah. than happy with that. So I'll let Laura tell me what you all think. Absolutely beautiful. So everyone's saying fantastic, cake looks great. Yay, well done, fab, need to make one of these. So yeah, if you do have a go, pop it on our community page. Let us see what you've done, what color coordinations you've done. Um, what themes you've done, we've got people talking about using the red for a Game of Thrones cake, we've got people talking about Halloween already, 
um, you know, just different colour combinations and coordinating the colours together. So yeah, loads and loads of different ideas. Pop them all on the community page so we can all have a nosy. Um, and, and share ideas as well because that's what people love, to get inspiration from other people. Um, and that's what the community page is all about. So there's 18 colours all together. They're called Chocolate Drip. And they dry very quickly, so they will start to almost form that crust. Obviously, it depends on how thick it is, um, but they will dry, you know, give it a couple of hours just to be on the safe side. I've got a couple of people saying that they've actually painted them as well. Yes, you can paint them. So you can paint and them. And if I have time them. tonight, I will paint a couple of them for you so you can see. So, yeah, there you go. All 18 colours on the website with the instructions about heating them, how to store them their ingredients and everything like that. So head over to the website when we're finished and you can see all the information there. So I'm using a set of nozzles tonight. Uh, we do sell the 1M Wilton on its own, but we also sell it in a set of three as well. Now, you know why we do these Facebook Lives, okay? We don't expect you to buy, but it is nice to buy. And it is nice if you watch us that you buy off us as well. It's funny, I do get some of you sending me a lovely message saying, Carol, I bought that. Off another company, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, the whole idea is, is that I'm showing you how to use these because, you know, I want you to come use our shop. I want you to get to know Maria and Laura who work in the office and Karen and the other staff and how lovely we all are. And we are genuinely lovely, um, even though I say so myself. So <laughs> anyhow, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish this with a nice little... I'm just going to do a little fluff bum on the top there. This is a little set. So that there is not ready yet. That was the last colour we put on, wasn't it? Yeah. And then we'll just do a nice big one in the middle there. Who's looking forward to this one on Amazing. Saturday? Me. Who's looking forward to this yeah. one on Saturday? So we're, we're going to fight you for it. Okay. <laughs> so we could put a bit of sprinkles on there. What could we put on there? I've matched the board. I've okay. matched it. Matched yeah. The board. Sometimes you have to stand back from the cake, less is more, but you know what, tonight, let's Not just go tonight. a bit mad. Carol McFarlane's in the kitchen demoing tonight, so you know what, let's go mad. Right, that's it, done, all done. That's fantastic. Yeah. So we're happy with that one then, guys? Like it, yes? Love it. I know I'm not the perfect drippy person, but first go, first time you've seen us do it, so let's shove this one out the way for the moment and then let's show you our next cake. We're not ready for the fold wire cake yet, Maria. Should oh, should we put that in the fridge now? Yes, we better start. We'll get them all out again afterwards. <laughs> so, this cake. Got a bit of funny story. What do you think of this? I made the roses. I decorated them with roses. What do you think? Beautiful. Oh, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> So what do you think? Do you like it? We'll wait for the comments because there's 30 seconds delay. So I got Kim in on Tuesday night. We've got two um, marvellous moulds, two new moulds in. They are amazing, they're fabulous. Okay, and they are called... They are called the Scrunch Mould. Let's see if I hold it here which is on this cake here. Yeah. And then there's the rosette mould, yeah? yeah? Now, Kim was asked by Marvellous Moulds if she could design a cake, so she did. She did this beauty here. Yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful. And she used the rosette for the shoe, so I don't know if you can see that, I showed you on Tuesday. So she, she's done that there, so absolutely beautiful. So then I said to Kim, and because we're friends, she shared it with me, so I've got to see it before you lot did as well, which was great. So um, so we've got the moulds in. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a special offer, and it was from Tuesday till tomorrow night, but I'm actually going to extend it until Saturday night. The reason being because Facebook went down yesterday, and I know a lot of you were waiting. So this offer now is two moulds for £45.98. We're not selling them cheaper for one. But we're doing two for four ninety eight, so you are going to forty five ninety eight. <laughs> yes, so you're going to make a saving. Now, to know how to use the mold, you need to watch Kim on Tuesday night when John was filming. But a lot of people did ask, how, "Can you know?" It's 
a four inch mold can you put it on an eight inch cake so she did so she showed you and she showed you two ways that way so you can put it on and then one on the other and then she did it on this one so this one's six inches high if you go this way so it's great so on an eight inch cake go that way and on a six inch go this way so we're here yesterday and i'm having my lesson with kim and um, so tuesday night we've done this and then we haven't put a topper on it so she's done a lovely topper there now when i started um, cake decorating six years ago i did go on a rose class so i went on a rose class made a beautiful rose vowed i'd never make another one again so i've done the bag roses don't ask me about bag roses but i've done the bag roses i've done the roses where you wire them i've done the roses where you um, put them in spoons i've done the roses everywhere you can even the nasty Porter roses but you know what sometimes we love fiddling around and my daughter Laura loves fiddling around she's more than happy to make models roses sit there and play to me I have the attention span of a gnat which basically means I've given it five minutes if it's not okay it's not okay so there I am I said to Kim right go on Kim give me a run through on how to make a rose so we sat down and um, and this is Kim's start of her rose and this is my rose Okay, so this is mine, this is Kim's. Start of her rose, her rose is obviously perfectly curled and everything. So we spent 45 minutes doing this. So I get us up. I get us up and I went, frig that. <laughs> 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 I'm not sitting here making them. I have got more things to do in my life than sitting there making roses. I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to do this. So she, she didn't know what I was going to do, so I trotted off. love these and they taste so good so i tried it off and i got my roses out these are ready made edible and they taste delicious do you remember those candy cigarette sweets that we had when we were kids you can't call them candy cigarettes now you all used to go around with this mm. kid smoking thinking you were great uh, three years of age really bad things to encourage your kids to do wasn't it they're now called candy sticks so oh, that's the daisy ones wrong ones so um what have i done here i've got the wrong ones out let me see it'd be just like me to put the put the wrong ones away it's like a half one second yeah put the wrong box away so so there you go this is what we sell at the moment okay so these are like a pink and yellow they do say they're pink and gold but they're not the pink and yellow um and then we sell them in white That's a mix set. We sell the mix set again in the pink. And then we sell the rose gold ones. Oh no, they're not the rose gold ones. Uh, we sell them in this pink and white. And then we sell them in the rose gold, like that as well. So basically, I just got a load of these out, got the airbrush out and sprayed them the same color as this. So this is what you can see. I left a couple rose gold just to go there. I've got Kim knocking up some leaves for me. We cut out the leaves with the FMM cutter. And then I got the Wilton 5 and 10 to just do some berries. Um, we decorated that cake. Well, when I say we, I decorated that cake in half an hour. And I think it's brilliant. It's beautiful. What do you lot think? Tell me. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Okay. So I, I, that's all real cake, by the way, as well. We decorated real cake. And you know what? You'll know it's real because they're going to get to eat it on Saturday. So um, real cake. And you know what? Yes. For the roses, you know, the, the $14.99 a box, so you need two boxes, 30 quid. Then you need the mould, put that on. But you know what, I think that's a fantastic cake. And I think you should get at least 100 quid for it. Yeah. So, and it didn't take no time at all to do. So, I, personally, I think that's it. So, what we need to do is make a nice, book, nice board for it. So, we're going to have a go at Kim's marbling. So, Kim was meant to be here doing this tonight. But instead, I've got the pleasure of doing it. So got my red and pink out we are using sugar paste direct red and we're using select island white um, and look at that red isn't that a beauty that red absolutely lovely so let's hope that we don't have any sprinkles on here which I can see that we have so I've just put the link up for the sugar soft roses 
There's pansies in there as well, yes. and they're all the same. So then, some sure of them are mixed pansies. sizes, um, and uh, some of them are sort of all the same colour and things like that. Um, these are the pansies that are so cute. They're absolutely they're gorgeous. So lovely to do at the side of the cake. They yeah. are flat. These are individual flat ones. Get sixty in a box, but you just build them up. You put a little bit of ball of sugar paste underneath, and you sit them up and down and we'll have a go at doing that we'll decorate a cake with these one day so um i don't think we've got anybody in on the 4th of august so maybe i should do that um, yeah so let's and get that we in. have used them before in a live quite a while ago when we very first stocked the roses and carol did show us how to spray them we lusted them to um just change the color slightly um, so luster dust, spray them, and they all work fantastically. So yeah, you can 100% um, change and shade the colours. Um, so yeah, they're all they're all on the Sugar and Crumbs website. So head over when we're finished, um, and you can purchase those directly from us. So all we're going to do is just roll this out. So how's our audience doing, Laura? Are you all still with us? Oh gosh. Any yeah. shout outs we should have for anyone? Um well <laughs> there's lots of lots too of many. Things, there are far too many, and I always end up <laughs> upsetting someone by missing them out. <laughs> Um, so so if yeah. you find somebody new, if you're new, shout oh, yeah. out if you're new. If you're new, say hi and, and how you found us and everything like that. That'd and be where really are good. you? Yeah, that'd be good. So there's still over 300 people watching, which is a huge audience for 20 past nine on a Thursday. And for little old me. <laughs> So there's loads of questions about how much this is and how much that, that is. It's difficult for me to keep posting just because the feed moves very, very quickly with the comments. Um, so if you head over to the Sugar and Crumbs website when we're finished, um, all of that information is on there. So it's Sugar Soft for the roses and the pansies. So look for the Sugar Soft brand. The demonstration mornings and the classes, you have to pre-book. So it's not a case of turning up, unfortunately. This weekend is completely full. So please don't turn up thinking we can squeeze you in. We are completely full, I'm afraid. And for health and safety purposes and things like that, we literally can't take anyone else in the kitchen this weekend. For anything in the future... You'll have to fight the men getting in the door. <laughs> in the future, you do you can book online in advance. Um, so the social demonstration one, and the next one is September. Um, and then we've got them, I think, um, October. Uh, there's none in November. Um, have we got one December or are we giving no, it a miss till January? Not sure, yet. I'm not so. sure about December just yet. It just totally depends how busy we are, to be honest. Um, December, December's a bit of a crazy month just because most companies and websites and stuff like that are getting ready for Christmas. Obviously, some people do shut down over Christmas, so December's a bit of a crazy month. But we shall let you know as soon as any more classes or anything like that, um, it will all be on the website for you to book. Yeah. There's a few things that have got to go on the website, but me and Maria are actually, or Maria and I, I should say, are actually building a new website at the moment. And um, one of the, we did want it for the end of the month, but it's like everything, it's time. And we're so busy with our full-time jobs, like trying to build a website in it. And then when you start it, I got Laura over for a few days, and I think we just all went into a meltdown and thought, my <laughs> God, what are we doing? So, um, we, I've said to Maria now, where's my rolling pin gone again? Um, oh, there okay. is. So I said to Maria now, look, three weeks now, July, we've got to spend every day on it that we can for July so that we can try and get the new website ready for the end of July. And then we'll put all the new classes on because I know a few of you have asked when am I doing classes. So there's no point in me putting them on the website now. Um, we'll put them on on the new website. <gasps> Carol, the underneath of that is, that is incredible. Didn't want them to I'm see. I'm sorry, yet. but it's stuck to the pin, and I it know. is just amazing. So, so, I, was, I was keeping it a secret. Sorry. Oh, um, <laughs> Karen Long, I'm new. She's based in Suffolk. I love the live shows and my orders. Thank you. Oh, hi, Karen. Thanks for joining us. And brave um, enough to shout out. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, so Marie Dowling Lavin is down the road in Wittish. All right, Hi, fantastic. Marie. 
Has she come into the warehouse for click and collect or does she have it delivered? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, pop in and see us. Do a click and collect one day and pop in and see us. Lynn Bond, regular yeah, collector. Yeah, Lynn is great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lynn. So you'll see that I just rolled that out of that colour. I didn't really want too much white in it because it's not really a white cake. So I just wanted to get a little bit of the marble. So we can either have it this side or... This is the magic. We can have it this side. Yeah. So what do you think? Beautiful. This one. Do you like it? Yeah? Yeah. Is that nice? Right. Okay then. So we need a board. So we uh, need a board. I've got you a 10. Is that too small? Is that where is that? That was the ten. Yeah. Right. Because I got you that out before. Yeah. That's and it great. was smaller than twelve. Um, yes, Marie's coming to collect. Ah, oh, we'll see you in the office. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Probably won't see me and Maria because we're no. stuck in <laughs> we're stuck here. Stop up. Maria and I have a, an office up here where the where the sugar and crumbs kitchen is. And uh, we do have to hibernate in here for July. <laughs> so. Nice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> There's lots of things that we actually want to change on the website. We want to change our shipping as well. So we're going for signed only parcels. Um, it seems that we've got a sugar and crumb thief up and down the country. And it seems <laughs> that whenever we leave a parcel in a secure place, he seems to be able to find it and steal it. And you know what? It's actually very expensive to a small company and even to a big company. It affects people's jobs. And we have far too many parcels stolen. And um, so now we're going to go for signed only. That will be when the website launches. You'll also get a tracker from Hermes. We can't have that facility now at the moment, but you will get a tracker from them where they will tell you roughly what time of the day they come in. So that'll give you an indication. Um, we do have the DPD option. DPD is very expensive, but it's a premium of premiums. You can opt for that. And we're going to do a bit more of a deal on that one as well for you if you want the DPD delivery. Um, Hermes, I know some of you dislike Hermes, but to the volume of orders that we actually send out per day, to the volume of complaints that we're talking about, seriously, they are so good. And what you have to remember, it's not Hermes, it's your local driver. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like everybody, no matter what business you've got, you've got good employees and you've got bad employees, and you know, it, it will be your local driver, not the actual company. Um, but as for losses, um, when we have a parcel stolen, uh, Hermes don't pay, none of the couriers pay. And what happens then, that comes back to us, we have to refund it. And it gets a little bit upsetting, you know, when uh, it always seems to be a, a parcel that's been left in a secure place and it's been stolen. And that little thief of ours seems to get everywhere. So we're going to put a stop to that. And then we're going to have a proper wish list on there for you so that you can put things that you can save into your basket and buy them as and when. What do we think of that? That's like stunning. That? Absolutely stunning. Great. Right. We'll just get rid of this. One second. Do you want to shout out what everything is, Laura? Yes, yeah, so we've got the sugar paste. Um, so the white that we're using is Select Island. Um, the red we are using is Sugar Paste Direct. They're both available on the website. Um, again, all the chocolate drips are available on the website. So just search by brand or head over on the right hand side and go to the Facebook Live wish list. Drop down to July and you'll be able to see um, everything there that's been added. Maria's done a fab job already of adding everything in there for you. Yeah. So there we go. Board, how easy is that to that's have your stunning. board? Yeah. Um, so really very, very easy. And then we're going to go, we're just going to lift our cake up. Oh, so and brave. we're going to sit him on there. Let's give it a bit of effect. So that gets rid of that. And I have got some ribbon, but we'll put it on afterwards. So, what do we think? Absolutely stunning. Yeah, we'll just bring we it like it. it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So I would say, you know, Kim took her time showing you on Monday night how to put the side panels up. So you bake your cake, crumb coat it, or ganache it, or whatever you're going to do. This one is actually ganached. And um, and then we're going to put the the, the ruffle on and then the, the stay soft uh, roses, are they called, what are they called? They called sugar, sugar soft, soft roses, uh, leaves, really very easy. And this cake is really designed for people who can't do roses. I know so many of you, even though Kim was here yesterday and she agreed with me how quick it was, and her husband was saying this morning, see Kim, this is what you gotta do. This is where you make your profit in your cake. The customer will love that and think it's amazing and took you a quarter of the time but you're going to spend 12 hours now making all those roses. It's really up to you whether you want to make money or not. 
isn't it? Yeah. So there you go. So I just thought I'd show you a quick, easy way. I'm actually thinking of doing that as a class because I think as a class, some of you would actually really enjoy it. And what we'll do, we maybe we'll, we'll put the cake together, we'll ganache it, we'll get the coating on, we'll get the roses on, the leaves on. And if that's something you're interested in, let me know and maybe we'll get that on as a class for September. Yeah, great. Right, okay, so that's cake number two. Complete. I don't need to go in the fridge that. Well, it's number three, isn't it? It's but number three, but number two is complete. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so I'm going to pin my hair up now. So I'm going to go and pin my hair up, uh, wash my hands, because I've got to do a lot of leaning over and I don't really want my cake, my hair leaning on top of the cake. So just give me a minute and I'll just go and get a hair clip. So again, if you've missed any of the Facebook Live from the beginning or you can't stay till the end, you can catch up when we're finished. It will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page and then it also gets transferred over to YouTube as well. Um, so the one minute videos as well with all the little bits that Maria's been filming around the kitchen, they will also get transferred over as well when we're finished. Um, it normally takes a day or so for those to get onto YouTube but they will be on there. Um, bearing in mind it is Thursday. I keep thinking we've got a couple of more days till the end of the week, but no, it's yeah. Thursday today. <laughs> Not we've used got to get ready for the demonstration. I know we've got tomorrow. the demo. We've got the demo <laughs> morning on on Saturday, so another day in the office tomorrow. Get everything prepared and ready, and we'll see everybody who's coming on Saturday. So yeah, that'll be fantastic. And um, loads of people really loving the idea of doing that for a class. Um, no, so, I, I, do. Yes. I think that would make a good class I think yeah because I think it would be a way to show you to make a cake that the customer will love and you'll have all the secrets and you know what yes it's cheating no who cares? it's not who cares so you know you professionals out there you might go mad but who cares so, <laughs> right so we have our cake here and uh, we've done the upside down method so we are just going to if I don't lose it off here we are just going to Turn it round. And we're going to take our cake off. And then we are going to slice. So we're just going to get my cloth a minute. You should do this with a hot palette knife, but we haven't got time. So we're just going to run it round. board was we going to put this on? Oh, I know. Are we going to put it on the sweetie board? Um, I haven't got a board now. Let's put it on, have we? Hmm. It was meant to be going on that sweetie board that we made. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> put it on the wrong board. <laughs> I'm going to have to make another one. Right, okay. Well, we can pop it on the pink and purple. Yes, we can. Because that's a big board, so that'll look quite good. Um, yes, Sherry, the offer for the two moulds is still on. I'll pop it up on the screen just for you to see very briefly. If you head over to the website, you can see the Marvellous Moulds on offer there. So it's the Scrunch Ruffle and the Rosette Ruffle for £45.98. So this is my first... What is it, Laura? Fault, fault, line. fault line cake. Yes. Yeah, you got it. So there you go. This is my first fault line cake. It's not perfect, but you know what? It's just giving you the idea. How to do it. So we'll just I think cut it's that brilliant. Off. So we'll just cut that off. One minute. I'm going to drop the camera down a minute because it gets a better yeah. angle. And. Sorry. Make your jump there. Yeah. And you can see the middle bit. I'm actually wondering, yeah. There we go. It's on there. Right. So we need a board for this to go on. Ball, don't we? What did I do with that scraper thing? Oh, before? I moved it to Oh, did you? Brilliant. A bit jiggy, pokey right now. Oh, no. <laughs> makes me so nervous. <laughs> makes me nervous. Yeah, but you just go for it. <laughs> I have to just go for it. I'm yeah. lying. Like it. <laughs> just got to go for it. So, there we go. Fabulous. There 
That's my piping bag. Oh, sorry, I'd be best if I push it over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm so impressed with that, Carol. Are you? Yes. yes. I'm a bit of a trick. <laughs> no. We've got a bit more to do yet. So impressed. Got an air bubble in here now. Oh, yeah. The screen's literally just dropped down the bag. Yeah. yeah. That'll do. Right. Right, okay. So let's get the turntable. We've got a turntable there. Can we just set that board up there? Get the turntable. You don't know what's going to happen now, do you? No. I'm really intrigued. Don't know what you're doing. I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm winging this all the way. Just trying to think about a few things that we can do. So let's think. What's going through my mind? So. stock oh that's a very good point yeah so we are we are out of stock of a lot no, of the sweet sticks paints at the moment yeah. basically there's been a massive hold up of the supply of stock in customs um, and hence we can't get any more at the moment we have been told as soon as they arrive with the supplier we can have the first batch and um, so let me just tell you i'm pretty sure we've got a deep pink if you've got a deep pink Baby pink in stock. Yeah, deep What's pink's that? in stock. What's that one, Maria? Yeah. Have we got plum in stock? Lavender. We've got lavender. Great, that's too lavender. We've got lavender. Right, okay. <laughs> now I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go. So paint brushes to the ready. No, sorry, floss is out. Oh sorry, floss is out. Yeah, it's all right. Just going through what we've got. <laughs> right, we're going to go for the lavender. Yeah, we've got, we've got lavender. Hey, it's not that we haven't ordered them or anything. No, no, <laughs> they're stuck in customs. I oh. spoke to the other Laura today. All right. So we are waiting. The thing is, when you are ordering things from abroad, as much as it's Ireland as well, they're bringing it in from Australia. Mm -hmm. So it just all has to go down the chain. Yeah. So what I thought we'd do is... These are completely edible paints as well. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's give it a go. And I don't know if this cake, we might have to freeze this cake. Mm. No. Um, okay. Change that camera angle up. Yes. Yeah, can get it. I'm just tripping the paint, yeah. Tripping the paint on there. All right. So we made a little bit of a mess. Let me just see if we can trip this on here. You all holding your breath? Because yeah. I am. <laughs> So yeah, we've just used a lavender tonight. Um, Maria, your hand. You want, huh? Maria, Maria, your hand, sorry. Um, yeah, we've used lavender paint just because it's one of the first ones we came across that we know we've got in stock, but you can use anything um, to coordinate. Yeah, the rainbow dust yeah. paints would be nice There's as well. Loads. We've got loads of rainbow dust yeah. paints in. So I've loads, got loads of, of metallic ones in. I was gonna well. say, loads of people I've seen have done like a silver and a gold and it does look beautiful, but you know, if you want to keep it the pastel theme, keep it coordinated to your sprinkles or anything like that. Just go with whatever you think. Have a play around with it and just have a bit of fun. Yeah. Remember, it's just cake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why women get so stressed and upset about cake. You don't see men getting so upset about stuff, do you? No, because they just pop to Asda and get a crappy shop bought one. That's why. <laughs> So 
So Cal's kind of painting the top and side bit. So obviously it depends how thick your buttercream is. Yeah. But it depends. It, it's totally up to you what effect you go for. So paint the side of the buttercream or the top of the buttercream. It's whatever is up to you. I There's think no the idea rule. Is to paint the top though, because that designs the crack. The, the yeah, crack. yeah. The crack. <laughs> Paint the crack. <laughs> We're having a crack at the kitchen. <laughs> oh, Sarah Webster says, Wow, Carol, you've totally inspired me tonight. Oh, that's oh, that, nice. That's really lovely, yeah. So then we're just going to go and do the same up here. So who's coming to the demonstration morning? Which cake are you going to have a slice of or are you going to have a bit of evidence? <laughs> Sorry, Janine, I did say a crappy Asda cake. No, nothing personal. And uh, Janine just said, yeah, I work at Asda. Sorry, do apologise. Crappy Tesco cake then. I'll probably get in trouble for that in a minute. But you know what we mean? Obviously, a lot of time and effort goes into making a personal cake. <laughs> oh, you know, when, so upset. And it cake. does go, it's from the heart. We do yeah. do it from the heart. But Rocky, my kids have lived on those caterpillar cakes for years. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I've had a few oh, of them. Oh, Jasmine got one this week from the nursery. <laughs> she was well chuffed with it. <laughs> What's it called, that caterpillar one? That It's in every uh, yeah. supermarket, isn't it? Yeah. Rob Allen, in his defence, Rob said, no, we wouldn't. No, to be fair, Rob, you definitely wouldn't. Your cakes and your bakes are fantastic. And if you ever bought me a cake from Asda Tesco or wherever, I'd be thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you should take any fault, really. No, you know, if, no. you a, if you want a cake from anyone, then she should she shouldn't be wound up by Oh it. no, no, I think she is joking. Have a, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah, we are only having a laugh. Still crap though. <laughs> <laughs> we just like them. That's the problem. Yeah. For some reason, they do taste alright. I don't know whether I've ruined this or not, but you no. are meant to decorate, no. you are meant to paint this, and it's meant to be rough, it's not meant to be neat, Yeah. okay? It's meant to be rough. Well, Paula Rossian's just said, what a difference with the paint on, well yes. done. It but totally highlights it, it, it does, yes. it totally it does. does. Yes. So, just one second, I've made a right and I say I'm going to be here till friggin' tomorrow cleaning this lot up. <laughs> so, anyhow, so... Sorry, I'm just going to have to carry on doing this on here. I can't stand the thought of that cake not having enough. This is what they do in Tesco's, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. We're going to be in so much trouble tonight. <laughs> Clean the kitchen. Anybody yeah, he's local. Wants to pop in. We'll save the last twenty minutes to clean up. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. It's not me, but you know what? It'll do. Kids will be happy. Right. And then I've got to get rid of the rest of the spring course. Of course. I'll get rid of a lot of spring course. So I've just got to get rid of the rest of them. Like Sprinkle City here today, isn't it? Oh my lord, it really is now. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? Dunning! <laughs> it really is stunning. It is. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right! Da -da -da! Facebook Live is done. <laughs> right, okay. Let's have a serious chat then, everybody. Let's show you what we've been doing. Let's get all of them on here. What do you think? Think it's good? Absolutely think we should amazing. leave that one there. Yeah, yeah. So we leave that one there. Yeah, we should be able to squidge them all on. We should be able to get this one on here. Where's the one out the fridge, Maria? Still in the fridge. Is this still in the fridge? How many cakes have we done? Um, three, I think. Two? No, we've done... We've... Two, three, two. Oh, oh yeah, today, this, this one, yeah. we just talked about this yeah. one, didn't we? Kim Firth, well done you. Thanks, Kim. I don't know why I'm saying thanks, I haven't done anything. I think this is my favourite though. Is it? 
I think yes. the drip's my favourite. I'll do one of these. You want to be one of those who's got look at her face grinning. I know. <laughs> that could be cat. That could be cat. <laughs> Isn't she? So I think we've showed you lots of things there to do. So hope you've enjoyed just having me as your demonstrator tonight. Um, I can I can decorate to a certain standard. I don't have um, what do I do? I like the rustic look. Okay, so anybody who knows me is rustic all the way, and I'm very much about you know what slap it on. It's going to do. It's going to be pretty. And as Laura says, it's just cake. Don't get so upset about it. The things that you think that people can see, they can't see. I say this in my classes when they come to do my classes. You know, you'll come and do the classes, and you'll love your flowers, and you'll know the things that you've made mistakes on. But when you take them home, everybody else will go, "Wow, they're amazing!" And in time, you'll think you'll improve on those skills all the time and the reason that we do these lives here at the sugar and crumbs kitchen is to show you new products that we've got in to show you that we're not professional cake decorators we just want to show you how to use products and you know what have a good time about things smile have a laugh and uh, what's the worst can happen exactly. get your finger in and lick the cream <laughs> just make another one yeah. make another one absolutely so these are all eight inch cakes and they're all six inch deep. Anybody who wants to know, and they're all on 10 inch boards, apart from this one, this one's on a 12. That one's on a 12. 12 inch, yeah. yeah. So, um, and we mustn't forget the honey pot that Maria did. So that's four cakes we've done this week. Okay, <laughs> that's so this a ton. <laughs> so um, four cakes we've done as well this week. Maria did this one on Monday, if you wanna go and watch Monday's live. So everybody who comes to the social morning, and um, if they feel that they could try a piece of my cake, you know, feel free that they can. And those of you who can't, you know what, you're getting a muffin off the van from McDonald's. So, <laughs> so any questions, anybody like to ask anything? No, there's, there's just loads of positive comments, people saying they've absolutely loved having you back in front of the camera tonight, Carol. Great, I absolutely <laughs> loved it. <laughs> So we are back in front of the camera on Saturday morning with Molly Robbins, round about half past ten. It really does depend what time everybody gets there. Really, this should be at the venue for half past nine, ten o'clock. So we like them to get there at half past nine. Ten o'clock we'd like to go live, but we made a bit of a cock up with our uh, when we put the event on Facebook. So we're, some people are a bit confused now. So we will be going live somewhere between 10 and half past because Facebook put it on half an hour later when we put the time in. So somewhere between 10 and half past, we'll be going live with Molly Robbins for an hour on Saturday morning. She'll be doing one of her Creature Creative malls. I don't know which one. I don't know which design she's doing. She's there to answer questions. We're going to set out the kitchen differently this time. The first time we did it, we weren't really happy. We're not streaming the live on the, live on the wall anymore because nobody could cope with the 30 second delay it really showed up even i didn't understand i'm there watching karen davies and i'm watching her on the wall and she said something a while ago which didn't coincide with that so we won't be doing that but we'll be streaming it live to you but not on the wall to the audience and then on monday like i say we've got julie rogerson in so we're looking forward to her coming in as well telling her about telling us about what she does in the cake world and um, on the following week, on the 20th, oh, on the 18th, next Thursday, we've got Marion Frosting on the 18th. She'll be here doing a demo. And then, um, and I don't actually know what she's doing actually, but she's always great fun, Marion. I love having Marion in. And then on the Monday, we have got okay. Michael Lewis Anderson. Anderson, not Hamilton, okay, and Karen Davies okay so it is Karen Davies show but Michael Lewis is coming in to show you and if ever there's a character with a big personality he is the man and if he wasn't gay I'd marry him I'd dump John because he's great but honestly he's lovely thankfully John's not listening so <laughs> hopefully not <laughs> or I might be dumped and yeah I think it's time I went home <laughs> oh I am home <laughs> God, I am home enjoy tonight. I'm going to stop babbling away with myself. Everything's on the wish list. Laura, do you want to shout out everything again and a few goodbyes? Yep, yeah, so thanks for watching. It's been a fantastic night. We have got some amazing comments and thanks for sticking with us. We're still over 200 people watching, which is fantastic. Um, everything can be purchased directly from Sugar and Crumbs, so head over there, look on the wish list when we're finished and the whole live will be um, pinned to the top of the Facebook page when we're done. It also gets transferred across to YouTube along with Maria's fantastic one minute videos. I'm laughing because Kim has just said, send John to me. I know, <laughs> she wants him.
because on Monday he cooked a lovely meal for Maria and it was for a company called The Mindful Chef but it's delicious because John and I started eating vegan and vegetarian meals but you can add meat so anyhow on Monday I decided to add meat but we've got peaches with it as well and if you ever thought peaches and steak didn't go together oh my god it's mind blowing so then what John did he came home on forget what day was it Kim Wednesday on Wednesday night he cooked it for me and Kim on Wednesday but his own recipe and it was amazing but John cooks tea every night he is good at something seriously <laughs> <laughs> he's a great husband really anyway on that just in note. case he's watching <laughs> yeah. I best go now <laughs> on that note I think we'll say thanks for watching everybody it's been fantastic and we will see you on Saturday at the demonstration morning yeah thank you very much see you then bye